I'm stepping out into the great unknown. I hope you're not afraid of heights. Who's there? <laughs> Hang on for the loop. Four, three, two, one. I'm Ricky. I'm Jamie, and if there's one thing we don't shy away from here on The Loop Show, it's taking risks. That's right, every new challenge they throw at us, we face it head on and feet first. Because we've got... Insurance. Yeah, and... Guts. Yeah, guts. Nerves. We eat nerves for breakfast. Shivers and shudders. We stand firm without a tremble. Shaking in our boots. We don't even wear boots. Uh, well, I mean, actually, you do sometimes wear boots. Oh, right. Yeah, okay, sometimes I wear boots, but I never shake in them because we've got guts. If you're ever nervous about trying something new, take it from us. You can have the courage to step into uncertain waters. Just like Peter did when he walked on water. And if you're not familiar with that story from the Bible, check this out. I want you to think back on a time where you had done something you had never done before. Something you tried, something that was completely new to you. Maybe it was joining a new sports team, maybe it was leaving one school and going to another, going across state lines to a place you had never been before. Now I want you to think about all the emotions that you felt. Did you have a little bit of fear? Did you have a little bit of excitement? Was it a little bit of both? You're not really sure. When I was in fourth grade, all the way to ninth grade, I attended six different schools. So that means every single year, I was going to a different school and I was leaving everything that was familiar and starting something completely new. And I just remember that I had all these thoughts where I was questioning myself, I was questioning the place I was going because it was new, it was something I had never done before. Were people really gonna accept me or were they gonna reject me? Do I really have to say goodbye? What is this new place gonna be like? What am I gonna experience? All of those thoughts were crossing my mind and I was often asking myself, how do I find the guts to do something new? In the Bible, there's a story about Peter walking on water. In Matthew chapter 14, the disciples are sailing across the sea and there are these powerful winds that are making it terrifying for all the disciples. They think they're gonna, the boat's gonna turn over, they think they're gonna die. And then they see Jesus walking on the water. And Peter calls out to Jesus and he says, Jesus, if it's really you, then ask me to come out to you and walk on water. And Jesus says, come on. Peter gets out of the boat and he steps on the water and he starts actually walking on water. Now just imagine what he felt in that moment. He must have been terrified, but there was also something that was giving him the guts. Well, today we're gonna talk about that. Where do we get the guts to keep doing something new? It was a very dark and not yet stormy night. We were on a boat in the middle of the lake. Normally Jesus would have been with us, but he had gone off to pray by himself. At 3 a.m., a raindrop hit the deck of the ship and then several more. Within seconds, we were in the middle of this violent storm. The waves were so vicious, we couldn't, we couldn't navigate back to shore. The lightning strikes and out on the water, we see this, this man, not in the water, on the water, walking in the middle of the lake, coming for us. I heard someone behind me yell, it's a ghost. It spoke in a calm, confident, familiar voice that we all recognized. He said, take courage. It is I, do not be afraid. It's not a ghost, it's Jesus. Somehow he had found us in the middle of the storm despite not having a boat. He, he proved to us that nothing Nothing could stop him from finding us. Peter, he didn't believe quite yet. He called out, okay, ghost, if you are really Jesus, prove it. I invite me out onto the water. And, and Jesus said, come on out. So Peter, he steps out of the boat and I, 
I thought he was going to sink. But his foot lands on the water and, and it supports him. And I mean, he's, he's walking on the water. He was literally walking on the water right towards Jesus. The thunder, it, it boomed. It was so loud. The loudest thunder I've ever heard. And this wave, it just gets picked up and it gets splashed across Peter's face. And again, I feel that ping in my chest and I look and I see as he starts to sink and he calls out, save me, Jesus, save me. And Jesus, he, he cool and collected, just reaches out his hand, grabs Peter, lifts him back up. And Peter told me later that, that Jesus said to him, I was right here the whole time. There was no need to doubt the storm that was raging around us, it just, it calmed down. All the waves went away. And that's when I knew that Jesus was, was truly the Son of God. He, you know, he proved to me that he would come and find you or me through any storm, no matter what. Nothing, nothing could stop him. It's incredible. To test how gutsy we would be in a similar situation, we are going to virtually walk the plank. Jamie, you ready? I think so. All right, now remember, the plank is safely mm -hmm. and firmly on the ground. I've got guts, let's do this. All right, okay. I've got it. All right, let's get this. Oop, I'm in the street. There's oh. butterflies. Oh, wow. And birds and skyscrapers. I'm in an elevator. Push that button. Oh, I got it. Oh my gosh. Oh, some nice elevator music. Okay. Elevator music. Still waiting. Oh, no way. No. See, I'm not really afraid of heights, but nah. Take a, take a step oh on the plane, gosh. Jamie. It's like your mind is playing tricks on you. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Right. Why am I looking down? Yeah, why are you looking down? Well, I mean, I guess just I'm look gonna up. die. I wanna see it happen. <laughs> just look up, look forward. Oh, hot air balloons, helicopter! It's gonna chop just, my head off. Just keep walking. I don't like birds. Just walk the plank. You're almost there to the very end. Keep walking, you're doing great. Ah! Okay, this is totally freaking me out. And one more step and you're at the end of the plank. <laughs> All right, you did it. You're, you've walked through the plague. Yay! Hello, buds. Oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. I just walk back. Oh, that is so precariously placed. What is supporting this plank? You just have to walk back to the elevator. That's it. It's making creaking noises. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Very good. Oh, my armpits are sweating. <laughs> JB, you did a really great job. That bird's coming for me. Can I close the doors? The birds ah. are circling. They are waiting for me to die. Close the door, cake. Oh, yeah, go get some cake. Get You've earned cake. it. Wait, spider cake, what's that? <gasps> what? There's a cake at the end. All right, Jamie, go get the cake. Go get the cake, Jamie, go get the cake. All right, now you got it. Can I pick it up? Yeah, pick it up. Grab the cake. Can I really grab it? Grab it, yeah. Ah! Oh my gosh. Delicious. Oh right. gosh, don't look down. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't. All don't. the way down. Let, let, let the cake fall, Jamie. Just let eat. the cake fall. Eat as face. many slices but as I you can. Up. Bring me back a slice oh, if you're no. able. Oh, <laughs> well, that's gone. Okay, that was really fun. All right, Jamie, what do you think about virtual reality? Uh, I think that it'd be more fun if I weren't walking a plank up high in the sky with birds circling over me, waiting for me to die. Fair point. <laughs> What's up, 
Bloop, it's Kira, and I have a question for you. Have you ever taken a risk? Like a risk that stood for something? Let me share with you an example of how I actually took a risk recently. So I was at a drive through line at Starbucks, and before you call me basic, I know that I'm basic. You don't need to remind me, I know. I just I love my Starbucks. But as I was waiting to get my order, I had this feeling like I should ask the person that gives me my order if I should pray for them. And that's not something for me to usually do. I don't usually do a lot of bold things like that. But I just kept having this feeling like I should ask them if I could pray for them. And honestly, I was kind of afraid of what her response would be when I asked that question. But I decided to be courageous and go ahead and ask her that question. So as I pulled up to the window to get my order, I asked her, hey, is there any way that I could pray for you this week? But she very politely said, no, thank you. I'm okay and that she appreciated the offer. And I think the whole point of that interaction wasn't the fact that if she was going to say yes or no to me asking her if I could pray for her, it was the fact that I took a risk and I was courageous in asking her if I could pray for her and sharing the love of Jesus just with that question. Let's go back and look at what we learned about Peter. So Peter's gutsy moment came when he saw Jesus and said, if it's really you, call me to come to you on the water. He was boldly saying that if stepping out onto the water is what courage costs him, that is just what it costs. Peter was bold and ready to risk. Peter jumped out of the boat and walked to Jesus until his nerves crept in and he started sinking. And when Peter cried out for Jesus to save him, Jesus grabbed his hand and pulled him up. And as they both climbed onto the boat, the storm died down. So let's get something straight about taking a risk. The thing about taking risks is that you have to have courage. And the thing about courage is that courage is not the absence of fear. You can still have fear when you are being courageous. Because Peter didn't know what it felt like to walk on water. And as Peter stood on the edge of the boat, the winds were raging and the waves were very choppy, but he saw his friend Jesus. And when he saw Jesus, he realized that he could step because he wasn't alone. And when he did get nervous, he reached out and found out that Jesus was still there. His courage and faith grew during a stormy situation. So think about how you could be taking a risk this week and think about how you can be courageous during those things and remind yourself that it's okay to be nervous when taking a risk just as long as you have faith. So how can you take a risk this week? Okay, it's Ricky's turn. Ricky, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Woo, are you afraid of heights? Oh, terribly. Let's do it. Oh, no. Courage. All right. Courage. You've got guts. You've got guts. Oh, this is a lovely elevator. I don't see their, their license... Oh, turn, turn behind you. It's back there. Oh. Oh, uh, well. Well, all now right. you've got well, the plank. Well, this is terrible. Okay. Hi. Right. Here we go. Ew. <laughs> it's worse <laughs> watching me uh, do uh, it. Oh, it's creaking. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, courage. Courage. <laughs> Wait, you're backing uh, up. What are you doing? Uh, oh, this is. Oh, you changed your mind? This is so unsettling. <laughs> okay. You can do this. Ricky. Stable, sturdy. <gasps> one foot in front of another. One foot in front. You're doing it. You're doing another. it. Ooh, ooh. Okay, here we go. You're we doing great. We're, we're, okay. You have more plank to go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we maybe redirect. just one more. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Ah. That's, ah. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is awful! <laughs> Wait, he fell and I missed it? <laughs> Dang it! Oh, that was, that was awful. I'm so sad I missed you falling. That's what you're sad about? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. This might be my favorite challenge we've ever done on the Loop Show. Spider Kate. Big cake, big spider, little spider. Oh. Ah! 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 Give me, take anything else, anything else. Oh my gosh, where's it at? Oh, we have donuts. The spiders are gone. That was the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Ricky's having a rough day. You want a blanket and a fluffy pillow? 
what does courage cost? A big, bold step into something new. Saying goodbye to the comfort of what we know for the adventure of the unknown. That adventure is what makes it fun. We might be nervous, but we're not alone. As we step, God goes with us. Okay, it is normal to be nervous when you're facing something new. Just because you take a risk or get gutsy doesn't mean that you're completely fearless. Yeah, no one is 100% fearless. Like during our challenge, even though we knew we were 100% safe, mm -hmm. it was still scary. Mm -hmm. Courage has a cost. Yeah, taking big, bold steps, even if you're nervous, is an adventure. But don't forget, you're not alone. Yeah, if you're following Jesus, he is with you as you move forward. Step by step. So get gutsy. Take a risk. And don't forget to enjoy, enjoy the ride. ride. You want to try it again? No. No? Mm -mm. No? Not even. I don't even want to see the footage. Fair I, point. Fair no. point.